Hi, it's Connecticut personal injury lawyer Ryan McKean here. Today I'm going to talk to you about a myth. Um, in 2023 in Connecticut, are personal injury lawyers too expensive? Now, you know, the answer here is personal injury lawyers are unlike almost any other kind of lawyer. Every other kind of lawyer, you've got to hire and you've got to pay by the hour or pay a retainer or flat fee and you've got to come up with you've got to come up with money to do it. Um, and personal injury lawyers are really almost unlike any other business. Like you couldn't imagine a plumber working this way where somebody says, look, I'm going to do work on your house for, you know, 12 to 24 months. And then if the house is successful, um, I'll get paid. Uh, but that's exactly what personal injury lawyers do. We work on contingency. So we start doing a whole bunch of work um, and in hopes that we can uh, get paid. And our interests are absolutely align with the client's interest, which is that if we can uh, achieve a really good result, like that benefits us because it results in a larger fee uh, for the firm bluntly. Um, so there's a lot of incentive for us to do good work. Whereas you can imagine maybe if a firm is billing by the hour, uh, maybe their incentive there is to work a whole bunch of hours on the project um, because that's how they ultimately get paid. So, um, you know, um, one of the things, you know, so you say, fine, like, okay, I know you work on contingency, you don't win if you get paid. Um, but know too, that there's a business alignment there, because as a personal injury firm, we don't want to be taking cases um, that we're not going to get results on that would just waste our time and waste your time. So generally, if we're accepting a case, it's because we believe uh, that it is going to be ultimately uh, successful uh, for you. And so you say, okay, fine. I got, you know, Connecticut personal injury lawyer telling me that um, Connecticut personal injury lawyers aren't too expensive. Surprise, you know, shock, self-interest. I get it. I get what you're saying. But the flip of it is, is that insurance companies, they don't want you to get lawyers. I mean, if you're out there and you have a car accident claim, you know, they will do everything they can to try to avoid you getting a lawyer. And why do they do that? They're not stupid, these companies. They have lots of data. They know what it is. They know their own studies, which I've read, say that if you get a personal injury lawyer, the claim is going to be worth three and a half times as much um, than it would be if you handled it on your own. So you can say, yeah, well, giving up a third of my case may feel like a, a lot of money. The far more expensive thing is to give up three and a half times the value. So if just, for example, like round number, simple math, right? Um, so say a case, um, if you handled by yourself, would be $10,000. You get, you know, you handled it by yourself, you don't pay a lawyer, you get $10,000. Um, say it would, say you hired a personal injury lawyer and make it three and a half times, that would be a $35,000 settlement. And yeah, personal injury lawyer is going to take a third, we'll call that, you know, $11,500 uh, 11, uh, $11, thereabouts. Uh, so you're going to take home $23,500. Uh, so that's thirteen thousand five hundred dollar difference to you, um, if you if you hired a personal injury lawyer in that in that example. So that's more than you know one hundred and you know twenty five percent or thereabouts uh, more in your pocket if you have a personal injury lawyer. You could do the math on this all over. Apologies if my math wasn't uh, incredibly precise. I'm just doing it in my head. Uh, feel free to check it, but you can run your own numbers. So oftentimes the most expensive thing you can do in a case is actually not having a lawyer. Um, but, um, you know, a good honest injury firm is only going to take a case that they feel that they can help and add value. Um, and that's something that we do here. Um, if I can't take a case, I don't think I can help. I will tell the client this. If there's money offered that I think is reasonable, just tell them to uh, accept the money. Um, but oftentimes um, it's not. Oftentimes we've seen sometimes we've had cases where people have been offered $2,500 um, and we look at the case and we know it's worth $250,000. Um, so, you know, there's a, a lot to be said there for having a lawyer. You should consult with a lawyer. You should hire a lawyer if you're comfortable with them, if they answer your questions directly. If you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to give me a call, 860-471-8333.